So we have our obelisk to the left, and then the, on the top row, the two poses on the right are Osar or Osiris, god of the dead. Selket is our goddess of magic and protection in the lower left. And then Min is our god of virility and fertility. So the first thing I want you to do is form your first pyramid. So you'll take your right hand and then put your left hand on top of the right and the pads of your thumbs will be touching. And this will be our first pyramid. So you want your fingers pressed together in your pyramid, pads of the thumbs touching, and then place that pyramid on your lower abdomen, like just below your belly button. And then I want you to lie down on your back. Feet pointing up to the sky, feet as wide as your mat, and then just let your knees fall in together. Okay. So feet as wide as your mat, let your knees fall in together, have that pyramid on your lower abdomen. Feet flat to the earth, knees falling in together. And then we'll work on our rule of four breathing. So in rule of four breathing, the first part is your inhale, the second part is a pause at the top of the inhale. The third part is the exhale. And the fourth part is a pause at the bottom of the exhale. So when you're ready, let's exhale all the stale air out, stale air out through the mouth. And then as you inhale through the nose, expand your belly into your hands. Pause at the top of the inhale. And then exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> belly button comes to spine. Pause. Again, inhale. Expand your belly button into your hands. Pause. And exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Pause. Now breathe at your own pace. Remember the four parts. It's always the inhale. Pause. Exhale, pause. And because you're lying down, it should be easier to keep your shoulders out of your ears. As you inhale, imagine that you're bringing the air up through your spine. The energy then can circulate around the center of your forehead or your third eye as you pause. And then exhale, bring that energy back down through the front of your body, through your arms and through your legs. And then pause. When you exhale, make sure you're doing an audible exhale. <sighs> Imagine you can release all of the stale or negative or unwanted energy through that exhale. <sighs> As you breathe. We're bringing the energy up on the inhale, belly expands into the hands. On the exhale, belly retracts to the spine, energy comes down. Wherever you are, keep breathing. One more, wherever you are in your cycle. Then you can release the breath. In Kemetic Yoga, we also believe that we need to start with a full relaxation before we go into our postures. So we're gonna transition now into Sahu Pose or Mummy Pose. So if your legs are up and you feel comfortable bringing the back of the legs flat to the mat, you can extend your legs long. Take your pyramid away from your belly button this time and bring it up on your sternum. So it's right underneath your rib cage. But when you're lying down, you still want your triceps to be flat to the earth. So if that means you loosen up your pyramid some, that's okay. Just go ahead and loosen it up. So make sure your triceps are flat to the earth. Maybe you're connecting with your pyramid. If Legs flat to the earth feels uncomfortable, then just put your feet flat to the earth and let your legs flat fall in like we did before. We're gonna to return to the rule of four breathing, but this time we're gonna inhale and exhale through the nose. So in your sahu or mummy position, when you're ready, inhale, expand the energy up. Pause, 
and exhale, bring it back down. Pause. Breathe at your own pace. Your job here is to breathe and to relax. Mentally scan your body for any points of tension. Note them and let them go. Remember to inhale, pause and exhale, pause. And if you were with us last time, remember your tongue connection. As you're inhaling and exhaling through the nose, bring the tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth. You might hear an ocean-like sound between your ears, and that's okay, that's what we're looking for. As you inhale, pause and exhale, pause. You're creating a complete loop for your energy as you connect to your tongue. It unites your masculine and feminine energies. Breathe. If anything comes up for you, if there's a person who comes to mind or if there's a concept like power or strength or beauty or rest, this might be your intention for the class. And so if something comes up, embrace it and rock with it. Allow it to be your intention that your intention that focuses you for the class. Breathe. On your next inhale, start to bring your awareness back into your body. Deepen your breath. On an inhale, lift your pyramid about six inches off your chest. And then exhale, bring your hands flat to the mat. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest. And then just rock from side to side for a little bit. Wake up your low back a bit. And then as you come to stillness in the center, Secure your hands on your knees, inhale, and then exhale, rotate your knees out away from your body. So you inhale in and exhale out. Now maybe you make tight circles because that's what feels good on your back. But if you want to activate your core, maybe you take bigger circles. And for bigger circles, you might let go of your knees as you inhale in and exhale out all through the nose. Inhale in, exhale out. The next time you come in, pause and reverse your circle. Exhale out, inhale in. If you're rocking tiny circles, then maybe you've got your hands on your knees. Do what feels good for you here. Inhale in, exhale out. And then when you feel complete, come to stillness. And now we're gonna extend our legs as if we were in a tabletop. So you want to flex your feet and you want your knees over your hips. We're gonna bend our arms at a 90 degree angle as if our arms were goalposts and extend our arms over our heads. So these are ka arms in kinetic yoga. You want your four fingers pressed together, thumbs on the outside for comedic palms. Bring your paw arms flat to the earth. Inhale, 
And then exhale, twist, bring your knees over to the left and your head to the right. Now maybe your arm lifts up some, that's okay. Try to keep your knees stacked to the best of your ability. It's just a wide twist, we're warming up here. Maybe you feel some opening in your chest, in your pecs, under your arm as you breathe. Now on your next inhale, use your core to bring your knees to center. And then exhale, twist in the opposite direction. So knees to the right, your head turns to the left. Notice how it feels on this side. Breathe, inhale, pause, and exhale, pause. On your next inhale, bring your knees to center. And as you exhale, extend your feet up to the sky. Now, if your body is not feeling this, you can bring your feet flat to the earth and do the same thing. It also might help if you're extending your feet up to the sky to hold your legs behind your hamstrings. Or you might want to put your hands underneath your glutes for support. If you don't need the support, consider clasping opposite elbows over your head. Wherever you are in this position, we're going to inhale, flex our feet towards us. Exhale, point your feet. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Now, if you've got your arms crossed overhead, switch the cross. Bring your arms back overhead. And this time, as we breathe, we're going to rotate the ankles. So the breath won't match exactly, but you'll inhale as you rotate. Pause and exhale as you rotate all in one direction. Just breathe as you rotate your ankles, work out any kinks. And then on your next inhale, pause, exhale, rotate in the opposite direction. And then whenever you feel complete, you can pause. Now we're gonna bring our legs down to the earth. So if you've got your hands overhead, this might be a good time to put them underneath your glutes. Inhale, and then exhale, slowly bring your legs down to the earth. If you need to bend them, that's also fine. Now keeping those hands under your glutes, flex your feet, inhale, and then as you exhale, come up to seated. Keeping your feet flexed. And we're gonna work on another pyramid here. So we'll bend our legs to find a pyramid underneath. So let's release them and let's do it now with the breath. So I'm just turning so you can see me. No need to turn on your mat. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height and form your pyramid. And then exhale, fold forward over your pyramid. Now maybe you rock from side to side here, if that feels good on your back. Look down at your knees so your neck can have a long line of energy. And breathe. Remember your tongue connection, tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth. Then when you're ready, we'll inhale up, arm shoulder height. Exhale. Hands down, knees down. Inhale, pick up that left leg and squeeze it into your chest. Exhale, press the left foot down into the earth. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bend at the elbow and wrap around your left knee. Inhale, bring your left arm straight back behind you. Exhale, press your left hand flat to the earth. Inhale, flex that right foot. Exhale, twist your torso over to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, turn just your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, just your head to the center of your body. 
Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. And when you're ready, inhale your head and torso forward. And then exhale, your hands to your knees, your left ankle meets the right. Inhale, hands up, knees up. Exhale, forward fold, pyramid forward bending fold. Head is long, looking down at your knees. Maybe again, you rock from side to side. Notice how it feels this time in the pose. When you're ready, inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, hands down, knees down. Opposite side, inhale, pick up that right leg, squeeze it into the chest. Exhale, press your right foot down to the earth. Inhale, reach that left arm forward as far as it will go as you sit up tall. Exhale, bend at the elbow, wrap around that right leg. Inhale, your right arm straight back behind you. Exhale, press your right hand flat to the earth. Inhale to sit up tall and flex that left foot. Exhale to twist your torso over to the right. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder, just your head. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. And when you're ready, inhale your arms and torso and vision forward. Right ankle meets the left, hands return to your knees. Inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Bend your knees to form your pyramid. Exhale, forward fold. Last time. Notice how it feels this time. Again, maybe you rock a little side to side. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, hands down, knees down. Now we're coming to tabletop. So maybe you swing your knees off to the side. Maybe you cross your legs and roll over. Either way, come to all fours. Again, if your knees are sensitive, you might put a blanket or a towel underneath your knees here. You want your shoulders to be over your wrists and your hips to be over your knees so that you feel balanced here. We're going to press into our hands, the fleshy part of your hands here. That's where you want to press into the earth. This pressing motion will become very important for later poses. But for now, we're going to do a version of cat-cow. So when you're ready, inhale, extend your belly towards the earth, bring your hips up, bring your shoulders back, bring your vision up, and then exhale, reverse the motion, belly comes towards the spine, broad across the shoulder blades, bring your vision down. Again, inhale, come up. And then exhale, reverse the motion, broad across the shoulder blades, press into your hands, release the neck. At your own pace, inhale. Sometimes we call the inhale position Geb. Geb is the god of the earth. And then exhale, reverse the motion, Newt is the goddess of the sky. At your own pace, just stay with your breath. Inhale, Geb. Shoulders back, hips up. Exhale, newt. Think about opening your chest as you inhale. When you exhale, one vertebrae at a time comes to newt. And then the next time you inhale, let's introduce a C curve. So we'll inhale and look over our left shoulder and shift our left hip just slightly. Exhale, come back to newt. Inhale again, look over the right shoulder, shift our right hip just slightly. Exhale, back to newt. Return so you can see me. Inhale again, looking over our left shoulder. Exhale, new. Inhale, get looking over our right shoulder. Exhale, mute. One more on each side. Inhale, get looking over our left shoulder. Exhale, new. So we come through center. Inhale, get looking over our right shoulder. 
Exhale, newt. Inhale. We'll come back to stillness in tabletop. On your next inhale, spread your heads just a little bit wider than your shoulders and step your right foot through for a lunge. Now, when we lunge, we want to make sure that our knee is directly over our ankle to protect the knee. You also want to make sure that you're balanced here. So you might need to walk that right foot out just a little bit so that you feel like you're on railroad tracks uh, and not a tightrope. We're gonna take our left hand and place it under our left shoulder in alignment with the arch of our right foot. So that left hand is pressed flat to the earth. Remember, you're pushing down on that fleshy part between your thumb and your first finger. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna inhale and trace our arm up our right leg and up to the sky for an easy twist. Now you want to make sure that your hip didn't pop out, that it's still in alignment. Your arm that's up to the sky should try to be stacked over your arm that's on the earth. So we don't want our arm too far forward and we don't want it too far back. Just a nice, easy twist here. Inhale. Exhale, turn just your vision to look towards the earth. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your vision up towards the sky. Inhale, turn your head to the center of your body. Exhale, bring your right arm down to frame your foot. Inhale, bring your right knee back to the left. Exhale, right hand comes in front of the right knee, left hand comes in front of the left knee. Shift your weight to your heels. Cheetah pose. As you breathe here, bring your shoulders back as if you were a cheetah. If you're up a little bit, that's okay, but we want to try to get our weight back to our heels. Spread those fingers wide. Look forward and breathe. Keep your tongue connection. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause when you're ready. Inhale your arms back out so that you're back in tabletop. As you exhale, bring those hands a little bit wider than your shoulders, and then inhale, pick up your left foot, and bring it forward to a lunge. Check your alignment. Make sure that your knee is in alignment with your ankle. Right hand comes flat to the earth underneath the right shoulder in alignment with the arch of the left foot. The next time you inhale, trace that left leg up to the sky. Inhale, easy twist. Make sure those shoulders are set. Make sure that your hip is still in alignment. Imagine that you could pull it back. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look towards your raised arm. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, bring your left arm down to frame your foot. Inhale, bring that left knee next to the right knee. Exhale, right hand in front of the right knee, left hand in front of the left knee. Inhale, your right forearm down, your left forearm down. Spread your fingers wide, and now we're in sphinx pose. The weight has shifted back to your heels. Look down at the mat so that your neck is long. Imagine that you could pull the mat towards you with your hands. This should activate your shoulders, and there should be a broadness across your shoulders here as you breathe. Inhale, pause, and exhale, pause. When you're ready, inhale those arms back out and come back to tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes here, and we're gonna prepare to go to pyramid pose. So essentially that means that we are going to inhale, lift our knees up towards the sky so that our hips are up towards the sky. And we are in a pyramid or a triangle here. Remember that you are pressing the fleshy part of your hands into the mat. Maybe you pedal your feet. So maybe you pick up the right foot, extend the left heel towards the mat. Pick up the left foot, extend the right heel towards the mat. Some popping in the toes is perfectly okay here. You want to keep your ears between your biceps so that you have a long line of energy from your neck through your back. 
If you're cuddling, come to stillness. Uh, your feet should be about hips width apart. Bend your knees and bring your chest toward your knees and tilt your hips up to the sky. Now, as you exhale, release your heels towards the earth. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. It doesn't matter, as long as you've got that long line of energy in your spine. All right, when you're ready, inhale up on your toes. Exhale your knees down to the earth. Inhale your feet up. Exhale your insteps down. And this time, we're just going to shift our weight all the way to our heels. And then get some love to our wrists here. So as we breathe, inhale, pause. Exhale, pause. We'll rotate the wrists in one direction and then rotate the wrists in the opposite direction. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can come to standing on your knees, so it's okay. We'll try to open up the backs of the feet if we can here. Let's give a little more love to our necks while we're here. So on your next inhale, look up and bring your chin up. If it's okay on your neck and you have no neck injuries, you can exhale, release your head all the way back and open your throat. If not, just stay where you are. If your neck is back, inhale your head to center slowly and mindfully. Exhale, bring your chin down to your chest. Tip of the tongue stays to the back of the teeth as you breathe here. Inhale your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Extra breath. Inhale your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Extra breath. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale. Inhale, arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, hands flat to the earth. You can tap out those feet, rotate your ankles again, whatever feels good to you here. When you're ready, tuck those toes. Spread those fingers wide, shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, hips up to the sky, back to pyramid. Notice how it feels the second time that we're in pyramid. Again, take a moment to bend your knees, bring your chest towards your knees, tilt your hips up to the sky, and then release your heels towards the earth. Again, maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Inhale up on your toes. Exhale, bring your knees slowly and mindfully down to the mat. We're going to return to our lunges, but add on this time. So spread your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. On your next inhale, step your right foot through. Left hand is going to be in alignment with that right arch. Make sure that your knee is directly over your ankle. If you like this version, if you like the version we just did, then do that again. If you'd like to add on, as you inhale, tuck those left toes so that you've got a long line of energy in your left leg. So you're here or you're still here. The left hand comes flat to the earth. As we inhale, we're going to trace up that right leg and stack our arms. Comedic palms, all four fingers touching, thumbs on the outside, long line of energy in the extended leg. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head, just your head to face the earth. Inhale, turn your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn just your head to look up at your raised arm. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, bring your arm down to the earth. Frame your right foot with your arms. And on your next inhale, pick your right leg up and bring it to the side. Exhale, right foot meets the left. We return to our pyramid. Inhale up on your toes. Exhale, knees slowly and mindfully come to the earth. Inhale your feet up. Exhale your instep down. Inhale your right hand in front of your right knee, left hand in front of the left. Exhale, bring those shoulders back, bring your chest forward, your vision forward, your neck is long. Cheetah. Breathe. When you're 
ready. Reach your hands forward so that you're back in tabletop. Tuck those toes. Inhale, hips up to the sky, back to pyramid. Ears between your biceps, maybe you shake your head yes. Maybe you shake your head no. Long line of energy in your back. Inhale, up on your toes. Exhale, knees down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your feet. Exhale, bring your insteps down. Spread your hands wider than your shoulders. On your next inhale, bring your left foot through this time. If the knee on the earth works for you, you stay there. If not, we'll inhale up on those right toes. Long line of energy in the right leg. Right hand comes flat to the earth. Underneath the shoulder in alignment with the left arch. Knee is just above that left ankle. Inhale, trace the left arm. Bring the left arm up to the sky. Medic palm, stack your shoulders. Long line of energy in the extended leg. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to face the earth. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look at your raised arm. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, bring your left arm down to frame your foot. If your right leg is extended long, inhale, bring that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, down to the earth, back to pyramid. Inhale, up on your toes. Exhale, your knees slowly and mindfully down to the mat. Inhale, your feet up. Exhale, your insteps down. Inhale, your right hand in front of your right knee, left in front of the left knee. Right forearm down as you exhale, left forearm down. Spread your fingers wide. Back to Sphinx pose. Breathe. Take a little rest here. When you're ready, extend your arms in front of you. We'll come back to pyramid. Tuck your toes. Inhale your hips up to the sky. Exhale. Then on your next inhale, walk your feet up towards your hands for a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to in this forward fold. Fingertips to the earth. And then when you're ready, inhale up about halfway, enough so that you can comfortably pick up your left foot and feel balanced. Pick up your left foot and just tap it out. Tap the bottom of that left foot. Put the left foot down and tap the bottom of the right foot. And come back to the left leg and tap out your ankles. All sides of the lower left leg, the shin and the calf. Right leg, ankles, shin, calf. Left knee, all four sides. Right knee, all four sides. The tapping pressure is up to you, whatever feels good. Tap your quads. If you notice any resistance, maybe you tap it a little bit more. Send it some more love. Right quads, right hamstrings. Tap out your hips. Tap out your glutes. Tap your abdomen and your stomach. Sides of your stomach, your low back, your mid back, as best as you can get it. Tap your chest. Tap your shoulders. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Now let's come down that left arm. So let's tap down the front of the left arm. Clap our hands. Tap up the inside of the left arm. One more time, down the left arm, tap your hands, up the left arm, and then switch. Let's tap down the right arm, clap our hands, up, inside right arm, outside of the right arm, clap, inside the right arm, tap your neck, tap your face, your ears, your head and your hair, and then take a big inhale with me through your nose. And exhale out through the mouth. And just pause here. Breathe in and out through the nose. Notice what you feel. If you feel any tingling, that is your energy field and you can access it at any time. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause. 
Your feet should be about hips width apart, maybe just a tad bit wider. Just find that comfortable stance for yourself. And then swing your arms like a little kid. You got nowhere to go. Maybe you pick up the opposite foot as you swing. So you swing to the right, pick up the left foot, swing to the left, pick up the right foot. If you're like me, you might have some popping in your shoulders here. But our hips are twisting, our side body is twisting, our arms are twisting. And then slowly come to stillness. And then extend your arms out wide like a T. Again, feet are about hips distance apart. And now let's twist moving our arms, but not our hips. So you'll have less mobility here. Don't go too far, right? We don't want to injure our knees here. But just notice how it feels like to use your arms to twist your torso without your hips. Now, come to stillness. Arms still extended out. This time, we're going to twist with our arms still and our hips still. This might just be a micro movement for you. It is a very challenging thing to do. But this is for what we're going to focus on in our tuck-in. Twisting, moving our torso without using our arms and our hips to help us. So if you're doing any movement here, you're doing a great job. Okay, let's bring our arms down by our sides and let's focus on the grounding portion of the tuck-in. So again, I like to have my feet hips width apart. Some people like to have their feet touching. Whatever works for you. Your job is to find your sweet spot. So we're gonna shift our weight forward and back on our toes and side to side until we find that position where all four corners of the feet are rooted into the earth, wherever you feel firmly rooted into the earth. If you put your hands on your hips, these bonier parts of your hips, should be alignment with your knees and your ankles. That lets you know that you're also in a good position if you're doing hips width apart. Now, let's pick up the toes on the left foot and let's try to lower them down one toe at a time, starting with your pinky. So your pinky toe, your fourth toe, your third toe, your fourth toe, and your big toe. Then pick up the toes on your right foot and lower them down one at a time. I'll be right back. Your pinky toe, Left toe. Until you've gone down to your big toe. Now hopefully this has created some space for your toes. In this grounded position, again, we are shaping our bodies as if we were an obelisk. You don't want to lock your knees. So you don't want your knees to look like this. Instead, you want a little buoyancy in your knees, like just a little bit of movement. So try not to lock your knees as your feet are rooted into the earth. Activate your quads so that you're pulling your quads up towards your hip bones. Now when you did that, did your glutes tighten? Can you loosen your glutes but keep the activation in your quads? Now sometimes we also might need a slight tilt of the pelvis. This is my natural curve. But if I tilt my pelvis down slightly, I can reduce that curve, but I also turn on my abs. So I always use my hands to help remind me to tilt the pelvis down towards the earth, turn on my abs, make sure my quads are activated, but also relax my glutes. I'm going to bring my shoulders up to my ears and then bring them down so they're nice and relaxed. Imagine that there's a string pulling you up from your chest. So you want your chest to be open here. You want your arms to be down by your sides, connect palms, all four fingers touching, thumbs on the outside. Rotate your shoulders out so that your palms are down by your sides. But when you did that with an open chest, did your ribs poke out? If so, soften your ribs. Make sure there's a long line of energy in the back of your neck. That might mean tucking your chin just slightly. And again, imagine there's a string pulling you up from the crown of your head so that you are standing tall. You're rooted into the earth, but also reaching up into the heavens. And think about your tongue now. Do you still have your tongue connection? Is the back of your tongue to the tip of your teeth as you breathe? Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. We're not moving here, but our entire body is active in our tech in position. So when you're ready, 
Rotate your palms out from your shoulders. Inhale your arms three-fourths of the way up. Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, prayer hands come down through to the center of your body and stop at the center of your chest. We're going to return to our initial pyramid here. So the right hand comes towards the chest, the left hand comes on top of the right hand, and the pads of the thumbs are touching. You want your elbows extended straight out to the side, so no lazy elbows. Bring your elbows out to the side. This is the pose of Asar or Osiris that we saw at the beginning of class. No need for you to turn. I'm just turning so you can see me. We're going to inhale and exhale. Just rotate your low back over to the left. Inhale. Exhale your mid back over to the left. Remember that motion that we were doing earlier? This is that motion. Inhale. Exhale your upper back and shoulders over to the left. Now your triangle stays in front of your chest. So if you moved an inch, you just moved an inch. You want your hips to still be pointing forward to protect your knees. Only your upper torso is moving here in the pose of Asana. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder, just your head. Take an extra breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Extra breath, inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, inhale your entire torso and your vision forward and exhale as we do the other side. Inhale. Exhale, just your low back over to the right. Just your low back, maybe it's just an inch. Inhale. Exhale, your mid-back. Try to isolate your mid-back over to the right, just a little. Inhale. Exhale, your upper back and shoulders over to the right, just as far as they go for you. Triangle, pyramid stays in the center of your chest. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder, just your head. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Extra breath. When you're ready, inhale your entire torso forward as well as your vision. Exhale. Inhale, extend your pyramid up towards the sky. Exhale, release your palms to pose of Selket. Kemetic palms, bend your elbows, bring them into the sides of your body. Selket is the goddess of protection and magic. So maybe you imagine she's creating an aura of protection around you. Inhale, exhale, hands down by your sides. Remember to be grounded in your tekken. Remember, you still might need that tilt of your pelvis as you inhale. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips and forward fold, fingertips to the earth. Bend your knees as much as you need to here. If the forward fold is too much for you, then you can keep your hands on your thighs and stay here or you can stay standing tall. Inhale up slightly. Back of the hands come to the earth. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Each forward fold gets deeper. Inhale up slightly. Bring the hands to the back of the legs, just behind the ankles. Exhale, pull the elbows directly back behind you. Crown of the head points to the earth. Inhale up slightly, form a pyramid, delta or rock nation sign, press it into the earth for the deepest forward fold. Everyone bend your knees here, crown of the head points towards the earth. On your next inhale, bring your hands to your thighs, flat back, halfway. Exhale here. Inhale, push your hands into your thighs and come back to standing. Back to our Tekken pose. Be grounded here. And the four corners of your feet, activated quads, loose knees, soften your glutes, maybe you tilt your pelvis, strain, pulling you up from your chest with soft ribs, shoulders down, out of your ears, arms rotating out from the shoulders, pneumatic palms. Inhale your arms three-fourths the way up. 
Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, bring your chin to the center of your body as you bring your prayer hands down through the center of your chest. Inhale, reform your pyramid, right hand in front of your chest, left hand on top. Exhale, pads of the thumbs touching, arms extended out to the sides, straight out to the sides. Inhale. This time we're gonna exhale our low back over to the left, just the low back. Inhale. Exhale the mid back over to the left. Try to isolate that mid back. Inhale. Exhale your upper back and shoulders over to the left. Keep that triangle or your pyramid in front of your chest. This time, pose a min. Inhale, bring your left arm straight back behind you. Exhale, bend that arm at a 90 degree angle. Keep your chromatic palms. Your hand should be just slightly raised over your hand, head. Your right hand is flat to your chest. Maybe if you're like me, you feel like opening here in the front of your shoulder, but also in the back of your shoulder. Keep those hips pointed forward to protect your knees. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder, just your head. Extra breath. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your raised arm. Extra breath. When you're ready, rotate your torso forward, vision forward. Left hand comes back on top of the right. Reform your pyramid. Exhale. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, rotate just your low back over to the right. Just your low back. Micro movements. Inhale. Exhale your mid back over to the right. Inhale. Exhale your upper back and shoulders over to the right. Keep that pyramid in the center of your chest. Inhale, bring your right arm straight back behind you. Exhale, bend that arm at a 90 degree angle, pose of men. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder, just your head. Extra breath here. Feel that opening in your shoulder. Inhale your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Extra breath. When you're ready, inhale your vision and torso forward. Exhale, right hand in front of the chest, left hand on top, reform your pyramid. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, now release your pyramid, comedic palms, thumbs on the outside, bring your elbows into the sides of your body, cell cat. Goddess of protection and magic, breathe here. Exhale, bring your hands down by your sides. Make sure you've still got that slight tilt of your pelvis. As you exhale, hinge forward at the hips, fingertips down towards the earth, bend your knees as much as you need to here. Inhale up slightly, back of the hands down to the earth, bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale up slightly, grab the back of the legs just behind the ankles, pull the elbows straight back, you should feel a broadness across your shoulder blades. Bend your knees, crown of the head points towards the earth. Inhale up slightly, form your delta or abomination pyramid, press into the earth, the deepest forward fold, release your head. Inhale up, hands to your thighs, flat back, shoulders back. Exhale here, long neck. Inhale, press your hands into your thighs, come up to standing. Full tech in this time. Make sure your feet are rooted, either hip distance apart or feet touching. Buoyancy in your knees, tilt of your pelvis, soften glutes, activated quads, activated abs, shoulders down, out of your ears, neck long. Arms by your sides, rotate out from the shoulders, kinetic palms. Inhale your arms three-fourths the way up. Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, prayer hands down to the center of your body. Return to your pyramid, left hand on top. 
All four fingers together, arms active, shoulders down. All in one movement this time. Inhale. Exhale, rotate your torso over to the left, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, take your torso and vision forward. Exhale. Inhale. Other side. Exhale, rotate your torso over to the right, low back, mid back, upper back. Pyramid stays in front of your chest, about three inches from your chest. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder, pose of Asar or Osiris. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. When you're ready, inhale your torso and vision forward. Exhale. Inhale your pyramids up towards the sky. Exhale, release your pyramids, pose of Salkhet, Kamek palms, bend your elbows, pause. Breathe. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Inhale, your right hand in front of your chest, your left hand in front of your chest, pads of the thumbs touching, pose of men, inhale. Exhale, rotate your torso over to the left, low back, mid back, upper back, hips point forward. Inhale, your left arm straight back behind you. Exhale, bend that arm at a 90 degree angle, right hand comes to your chest. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. When you're ready. Inhale, your entire torso forward. Exhale, place that left hand back on top of the right. Inhale. Other side, rotate your torso over to the right, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale, your right arm straight back behind you. Exhale, bend that arm in a 90 degree angle. Inhale. Exhale, rotate your head over to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your head to the center of your body. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. When you're ready, inhale your entire apparatus forward. Exhale, right hand in front of the chest, left hand on top, return to your pyramid. Inhale, bring your pyramid up towards the sky. Exhale, release your pyramid, comedic palms, pose a cat. elbows into your body, breathe. Exhale, hands come down by your sides. Check for that tilt of your pelvis. Next, exhale, hinge forward, fingertips touch the earth. Inhale up slightly, back of the hands, touch the earth, bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale up slightly, grab the back of the legs just behind the ankles. This time, pull the elbows wide. Release the crown of your head to the earth. Inhale up slightly, form your pyramid. Press your pyramid down into the earth, deepest forward fold. Maybe you shake your head yes here. Inhale, spread your hands wider than your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale, come up on your toes. And then exhale, come down to a squat. So bring your weight to your heels as if you're wearing high heels on your toes. Inhale here. And then exhale, slowly bring your knees down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your feet. Exhale, bring them flat. And we're gonna to return to our tabletop position. Yes. <laughs> All right, inhale, pick up your left wrist and raise it to the sky, a version of our twist. Maybe you rotate your ankle here. And then exhale your left arm underneath your right. So the left shoulder and the left ear comes to the earth. And maybe you stay right here. Maybe you want to stretch your right arm out in front of you. Maybe you stretch your right leg 
out behind you. Find your sweet spot. Breathe into that shoulder. If you extended your leg, bring your knee back to the earth. If you extended your hand, bring your hand back in front of your face. Inhale, bring that left arm up to the sky. Maybe you rotate again. Try to stack your shoulders like we did in the beginning. Exhale, hand comes to the earth. We'll do the other side. Inhale, your right arm up to the sky. Rotate the wrist. Exhale, bring the right arm through. Right shoulder, right ear comes to the earth. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you reach your left arm forward. Maybe you reach your left leg back. Breathe. Keep your tongue connection. You brought your left leg back. Bring your left knee to meet the right. If your left arm is extended, bring it in front of your face. Inhale up. Stack those shoulders, rotate your wrists. Exhale, bring your left arm down to the earth. Now I want you to come down to your belly. And if you're not feeling this, you can do another round of Red and Meal. But once you're on your belly, spread your arms wide like a T. Take your right arm and then bring it in front of your face. And then shift your weight over onto your left arm to stretch that shoulder. Maybe this is you right here. You just keep your right foot on top of the left, hand in front of the face. Keep breathing. Or maybe you pick up that right leg, bend the knee and bring the right foot flat to the earth. This will intensify the stretch in your shoulder. If you want more, you can inhale your right arm up to the sky, bring your right arm behind you and then try to interlace your fingers on your left hand. That's even more intense. So find your sweet spot, open up that shoulder, breathe. If your leg is bent, bring it back. Right foot on top of the left, inhale. Exhale, come back flat to your belly, slowly and mindfully. Take a moment to breathe there before we do the other side. On the other side, extend that right arm out. Left arm comes in front of your face. Inhale, rotate on that left shoulder very carefully. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you pick up the left leg and bring it behind you, flat to the earth. Maybe you bring the left arm up and exhale it back and try to interlace your fingers. Find your sweet spot and breathe. If you picked up your left leg, turn the left leg on top of the right. If you lifted your arms, return the left hand in front of your face. And then come back onto your belly, slowly come off of that shoulder. And then roll over onto your back. <clears throat> we'll do some bridge poses here. You want your feet to be about as wide as your You want your fingers pointing towards your feet. So if you can get your fingertips just grazing your heels, that would be ideal. With your hands flat to the earth, just Pick up your torso and then try to lay it flat. So you're flattening that natural curve in your low back. With your low back flat to the earth, vision looking up at the sky. Don't turn your head on this. It could be very bad for your neck. Slowly inhale and lift up your hips, one vertebrae at a time, so that you're resting on your upper back. Pause. And then exhale slowly and mindfully, one vertebrae at a time. Bring your low back down to the earth. And maybe you try that again, just the low back. Or maybe as you inhale, you inhale your arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale and bring the lower back down to the earth, you bring your hands back flat to the earth. So you're either in a regular bridge here, or you're in a moving bridge with your arms. 
The key is to try to get one vertebrae at a time as you inhale, low back to mid back, and then exhale at your own pace. Keep your tongue connection. And when you feel complete, bring your low back down to the earth, your hands down to the earth, walk your feet out again as wide as the mat the way we started. Return your hands to paw arms, so comedic palms, back of the hands and the arms flat to the earth. Inhale, exhale, just rotate your knees over to the left and your head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. Slow twist here. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. This time when you come to the left, just pause. Few breaths in the stretch. Inhale, your knees and head to center. Exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. Pause, few breaths in the stretch. And then when you're ready, inhale your knees to center. And then exhale, bring your knees into your chest again, like we were when we started. We first started with a wide twist, and you can return to that if you like. But this time, I'd like for you to bring your arms out to your sides, inhale your knees into your chest, and then exhale a tight twist over to the left. Vision looks to the right. Notice how your body feels in this tight twist. If you like, you can still tie your arms or bring them out to the sides, whatever feels good to you. Inhale your knees to center. Exhale, tight twist to the right. Knees fall over to the right. Vision comes to the left. Notice how it feels this time. And when you're ready, inhale your knees into your chest. Maybe you grab your knees again and rock from side to side, just slightly. And then extend your back of your legs flat to the mat, return to Sahu or Mummy Pose. Again, if this doesn't feel good on your back, then just come back to feet flat to, feet flat to the earth, knees falling in. You can return to your pyramid here, right underneath your sternum. Loosening if necessary, so your triceps are flat to the earth. You can wakanda your arms across your chest. You can bring your back of your hands to the mat for receiving. Hands flat to the mat for grounding. Just find the position that works for you in your final relaxation. Remember to keep your breath here. Inhale. Pause, exhale, pause. Maybe you wiggle your toes and rotate your ankles again here. Maybe you, as you inhale, you flex your feet tightly, create tension, and then exhale, let it go. Maybe you rock on your glutes from side to side. Exhale, come to stillness. If you're holding any tension in your stomach, let that go. If you have your pyramid, maybe you release it just to wiggle your fingers and rotate your wrists. And then exhale, return to your pyramid. Maybe as you inhale, you squeeze your shoulders up to your ears, create tension, 
And then exhale, drop your shoulders and let it go. Maybe as you breathe, you rock your head from side to side to loosen your neck. Maybe you rotate your jaw one direction and then the other. Maybe as you inhale, you create tension in your face. You squeeze your eyes, you furrow your brow, you squeeze your nose, and then exhale. Let it go. Everything that you can let go, let go and breathe. Start to deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back into your body. You might rotate your head from side to side. Rotate your ankles. On your next inhale, bring your pyramid about six inches from your chest. Exhale, release your pyramid and bring your hands down by your sides. Inhale, bring your knees into your chest and squeeze. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe you rotate from side to side if that feels good. On your next exhale, just rock over to your favorite side in fetal position. Breathe for a few moments there. And then whenever you feel like your rebirth is complete, you can push yourself up and come back to easy pose or any comfortable pose when you're seated. At the end of Kemetic Yoga practice, we say Hotep, which means peace be unto you. So Hotep to all of you. Thank you for joining me.